window. Whatever. Hey, Seekers, welcome to Amanda's Life. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. Welcome. Now listen, we know Chantal's on a hiatus of sorts. We don't know if she's in Canada or if she's in Kuwait. She may pop up any day and be in her new apartment in Canada. That's what we all pray for, right? All right. So in the meantime, we're going to just react to some nostalgia. And we're here to have a good time. There's no hate. We just like to react. She's our favorite soap opera. She's my only soap opera, to be honest. I can't handle any of the other stuff. I really can't. <coughs> Foodie paycheck go suck. Yeah, that paycheck's gonna suck. But if she pops up in Canada in a new apartment, she will make up for it so fast. She shows up in Kuwait. <laughs> Nothing burger. Yeah, I still think she's in Canada too. I do. I want to believe that. Don't take that from me. I don't think she went back to Kuwait. I think she's trolling us. She's the best troll. Somewhat. <laughs> Sometimes she's not. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. Live chat alert. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Can we get thumbs up in here? That'd be great. I think we're getting close to the 7,000 sub mark. Yay, us. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> a thousand subs a year. Now that's the organic way. Now, we know there's a lot of channels out there that you're like, hmm, how do you get 25,000 subs and you only get 1,000 views a video? Come on now. The math ain't mathin'. But that's okay. We're doing it the right, the right way. The way YouTube intended it. If she was in Kuwait, she'd already come on already. That's what I think. We would have got the travel video first, right? Foof, foof. <laughs> we would have got the travel video, you know, Back in Kuwait video and all the huffing and puffing. Listen, there's no way with her breathing she's going to do another trot through an airport. She is like a Big Mac meal away from an oxygen tank. <gasps> what if she's dragging an oxygen tank? Oh, no. You need to stay in Canada and get healthy. Go back on the Ozempic. You lost 30 pounds on that. Come on, girl. Let's get busy. We got a life to live. She's been active with her sock accounts on a few channels. Uh, fill me in, Mia. Fill me in what sock accounts and where. Has she been extra sassy over there? I, I, I used to love lasagna, but I don't... I like vegetable lasagna. I don't know why vegetarian lasagna, you would call it. I'm not a big fan of the meat lasagna, but I do like, like the three cheese vegetarian. I just don't eat it anymore. I've kind of, you know, I have pasta like once a year. Another strike because of her community post. Oh my gosh, that would be two weeks. That would be two weeks. Could you imagine if all her sass got her another? I don't think she went to Kuwait either. Mm -mm. I don't think physically she could handle it. It's too much on her body. What's going on over here? Uh, it's too much on her body. I don't think she would roll those dice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Good morning, Snickers. Oh, on milk teas. Hmm. Oh, we got two Mias in here. I see. How's that working out? We have one with an M and one... Yeah, and the original, the real Mia is right there with the avatar. Why are we playing games already? It's Wednesday. Oh, wacky Wednesday. Never mind. Good morning. I am doing great. Now, if y'all didn't know, for the last 10 days, I was on jury duty watch. I had to go in one day. But thank God the man pleaded guilty. I don't want... Uh, I don't want that kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, being responsible for whatever's put in front of me to be the deciding factor. You know how they leave stuff out, evidence out? I need it all. Or guess what? 
it's it's not up it's not up to me to put somebody away. I'm very strong about that. I like to watch trials. I like to speculate. I like to weigh things out. I've been watching the Apple River uh, trial. In my mind, I can't, I cannot figure out, like if you put your feelings into this guy that was alone, surrounded by many teenagers that were, I don't know, like this guy, you know, what he did was, you know, in a crazy moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would need all the information. I seen the video. Oh, the P. Diddy trial? Right. Didn't they steal his snorkel? Then he went over to confront them. It looked like everybody might have been drinking. Uh, there's just that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just... I just can't like I I don't know I, I mean I know it's part of the system you know but so many things get left out now I don't know oh thank you pass for pets I've been Mia for 60 years right the real Mia yes I can't wait for the P Diddy trial right the P Diddy trial didn't Jay-Z just get I don't know arrested I don't think I could ever sit in judgment of another person. Right, their, their fate. That, that's like God's job, right? In my opinion. And I would be honest, you know, if the, if the guy wouldn't have pled guilty, we would have been going to trial by jury. And then we would have all been interviewed uh, one at a time. And I would just be honest. Unless you got a video, you know, I'm just gonna, I just got people power playing each other here, leaving out evidence. And I don't know. It's just weird to me. I watch trials, but I only watch the ones that are like, whoa, I don't watch every trial. I'm not, I, I like interrogations better. Imagine Foodie and Diddy sharing a bowl of, ha, <laughs> like Lady in the Tramp. I don't like that they keep out evidence either. I, I just don't. And in my brain, I already know that. Because it might sway you. Well, I'm grown, okay? I'm grown. So they try, you know, it becomes character-based instead of, like, this incident. Like, this incident. Put all the evidence for this incident. Like they did with Ethan Crumbly's mom, right? Did they really need to uh, expose that she was having an affair, like they were just trying to uh, destroy her character, right? We don't know their marriage. We don't know, uh, you know what I mean? But then they bring the affair guy up and like ruined his life. Like you see how things go. Like that, that's what they do. And I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I mean, if we're going to play ball, let's play by the rules and let's play fair. But it becomes, well, you know, if we can't prove that she was a negligent mom, then let's prove that she was a negligent wife, I suppose. Uh, you know what I mean? She's just too busy, you know, meeting that guy in the morning while her kid's at school. Uh, right. Once you found that out, it should have stopped. You shouldn't even have brought it forward. I don't like any of this stuff. Your attitude towards life is something I envy. What? What part? <laughs> Like, I'm just all about lay it out. I'm all about laying it all out. Not not just trying to sway people on emotion. I don't like that. Look at how many people um, that worked on back in, let's say, the 90s when there was no DNA testing. And look at people have served 17, 20, 25 years. They hand them a paycheck and let them out. They've missed all that life. You can't get that back. And they were innocent. But they could sell a good story. Oh my God, no thank you. Mm -mm. So anyway, I don't know if I would have been chosen or not. I'm glad the person, you know, pled guilty. Um, apparently he kidnapped his girlfriend that was leaving him. And uh, he tortured her. He literally tortured her. And I thought, oh my gosh.
Oh, yeah, I like to lay shit out. Thank you, Polka Dot. Necesita, hello. Lube, love, and lobsters. All the injustice is heartbreaking. Yeah. I've been watching the interviews of the Manson girls. Then and now. You remember that stuff, huh? Wow. And that was some crazy shit. But anyway, so I figured what we would do. Now we got 242 people in here. 68 thumbs up. Thank you for the attempt at at least getting to 100. I appreciate it. Always, um, I appreciate all my subscribers, my members who keep my channel alive. Thank you, because we know. But I've been lucky for the last, what, two, three weeks? Chantal has not, you know, poke, poke your channel, right? And then, you know, it hurts, but when she gets mad, what are we gonna do? She's a toddler. I'm saying my say less, I'm wearing my say less shirt and I love it. Isn't it comfy? I love my shirts in my store. The Bella Canvas 3001 unisex shirt. That's my go-to. That's my favorite now. It's my favorite shirt. Now I have four of them in that shirt. So I am going to start, uh, I don't know, switching, you know, some of my shirts over to that. I don't know. I'm still working on more shirts. Summer's coming, people. We need tank tops. We need, um, we need shirts. Thank you, TLR. It's adorbs. You like your Say Less shirt too? Me too. I think it's adorable. I got compliments on my Gen X by four people yesterday. My new Gen X says raised on hose water and neglect. They love it. In fact, it brought up a conversation with one woman. She goes, I was raised. Listen, she said, I was raised. My parents were so old. Right? They, they lived through the depression. So it was like a grandma raising you, right? That's the age of her parent. She was telling me all kinds of stories. She goes, they didn't even have the energy to want to know where I was. I said, well, neither did our young parents. They were busy. Okay, so what we're going to do today, since uh, Foodie Beauty setting up her apartment in Canada, or, or worst case scenario, went back to Kuwait. Please, God, no. I don't feel the Kuwait thing, but I could be wrong. I feel like she's in Canada and she's trolling us. Now, I did go over, somebody put up a video where Takat was doing a live stream and Salat and Foodie Beauty came into her live stream and they were apologizing for hurting her and all this stuff. And uh, Takat, you know, she seems like a forgiving woman. But the people in the chat were not happy. So that was pretty interesting. I need the Gen X. I was raised on hose water too. Weren't we all? All the Gen X. From 1965 all the way to 1980. There's our window. How come we didn't get a 20-year window like the boomers did? They got, they got from uh, 1945 to 1965. How come we didn't get that? Tiggs, for the love of God, I got your carrot right here. He goes, what? Right there, baby. Go on now. All right, so I'm hoping she was trolling us. Um, it was definitely a visa run, Bebop. She, listen, uh, the last time she renewed her visa, right? Oh, was that one Thailand? I'm so lost. Anyway, was that Thailand? Anyway, you have to have a round trip to Canada where your pa passport's from. She had to have... She couldn't even go back to Kuwait from Thailand until she had a round trip ticket back to Canada. So all she did was follow through this time because it was her birthday. Uh, but uh, I think things weren't working out for her in Kuwait because she's depressed. She's miserable. She can't get out of bed. She has sciatic. She doesn't fit in. Um, she doesn't have friends there. She's not familiar. She doesn't drive. That's very depressing. You can't just run around and get your fast food when you want it. You got to wait for some guy to approve it who's holding on to your money. No, thank you. So I think she just followed through, went to Canada. I'll celebrate my birthday. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, stuff was going down. I think Salah was once again. Nader was really good at telling her what she wanted to hear behind the scenes. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to adult, right? Get her own place. She always, Pete's. Peets, can we live together? Peets, remember? She went from Peets to BB, just started moving into BBs, right? Then she went back with Peets to move into the villa. Then she started moving into Natters. Like, she always has to have somebody rescue her instead of just adulting. 
And if you're watching, Chantal, please, for the love of God, you'll be proud of yourself. Just do it. Go back on the Ozempic too. Let's get busy. Let's start living. You're 40, ma'am. You're like, you know, you're, you're like 120 in dog years, 280 in dog years. You're a freaking Big Mac meal away from an oxygen tank. You're not living. You're not living in Kuwait. You got a fighting chance in Canada, though. Come on now. We weren't made to drink out of a hose water tizzy, Don. Why are you rolling your eyes? That's just mean. You in a bad mood tonight? It's funny. We had to play outside. So when we were thirsty, we drank out of the garden hose. What's the matter with hose water? Why is Tizzy Don so mad? She's so codependent, it's beyond. That's the thing. I love the hose water too. We all stood in a line, all of our friends. Who wants hot hose water? Engineer said, I'm 46, I had hose water. Yeah, it's not that serious, it's funny. Because you can ask almost every Gen Xer out there. We drank hose water, it was great. If you took the time to go in, you'd be told to do something. I absolutely had hose water. Uh-huh. Put a one in the chat. If you drank hose water, Gen X. Every day. <laughs> Everybody's going every day. <laughs> there it is. So... Sorry, it's our childhood. <laughs> it's our childhood. We lived it. Look at the ones. Oh, my God. Look at it. Some people still do drink the hose water. Hot hose water. That was the best in the summer, right? Look at it. Sorry. It's the truth. Now, boomers can deny it. <laughs> hose water and PBJ handed out the door right on. Yeah. You know what was the worst thing? That damn grilled cheese with the Velveeta. To this day, I even smell Velveeta and I'm nauseated. You drank from the hose water too? Exactly. <laughs> what? Your dad, what? He comes over just to drink the well water because it tastes the best. Well, actually, well water is the best. It's better than this chemical stuff, right? All right, so no more arguments about Gen X and our neglect and our hose water. But well, look what we grew into. Survivors. Mm -hmm. We didn't. We weren't raised on feelings, so sorry. It it just has no place in logic. If you have feelings, you can't think clearly, <laughs> right, Chantal? Maybe she uh, got control over her feelings and stayed in Canada where it's smart. Okay, so let's do this. Everybody's waiting. Stop talking. We're here to watch Chantal. Okay, fine. We're here. We're doing it. Dang. Let's make sure we got full volume for this. She's going to cook. I've never watched her make lasagna. I'm looking for the goodies that I've never watched. Because you know I like to be caught off guard. It's one of my favorite things. All right. See, look at Dying Duck that literally drank out of a stream. We already know what can cause. You could get a brain-eating amoeba. <laughs> right? Uh-uh. I'm surprised we all lived. I gotta be honest, I really am. Oh, boy. Yes, she looks like S-Jam again. Is this a coincidence? Girl, why you keep looking like S-Jam? I don't get it. This is Just Saying's archives. I love Just Saying. One of my favorite archive channels. Always bringing in the nuggets. All right, let's get on with it. Let me click off some lights up in this bitch. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm so hungry. Like, I have not eaten. Of course. You haven't eaten all day. It's your first meal. Yes, we know. I could go for a coffee. I have a nice clean garbage here. Well, the one thing about the villa is we get to look around because she moves the camera around. We actually get to move around the villa with her. So we always like to spy. I spy. <laughs> right? Oh, my. I spy a matted cat who's been rescued. 
Or it needs to be sweet so bad. Okay, I have a grocery haul for you. A budget grocery haul. Okay. All of these groceries delivered cost me 43 bucks. Whoa. All right, so what I have here is some crunch munch. You don't need that. It's a small fucking box. We're going to do a willy uh, scream every time it's something you don't need. Crunch a munch. No. I wasn't now. I'm starving. It was so cheap because it's only enough food for one meal. <laughs> okay. The crazy part is she has it delivered. $44 probably cost her $80 just to have it delivered. Okay, so we're having lasagna. So this is Texas toast, four cheese, three cheese? No. Three cheese when you can have four cheese. So oven ready lasagna. So what I'm going to do is make a lasagna casserole. Okay, so this is great value. So Walmart. So you're going to see we're going to put everything, your massiveness. Wow, gross. <laughs> the trolls come right in. They, somebody said, your massiveness. Wow, gross. <laughs> this one Chantal didn't care because she was living her best life. Not any more gross than your fat shaming, you friggin' asshole. <laughs> ah, she didn't get as triggered as she does now. One pedicure in the history of the channel. Actually, my pedicure is going strong. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen my skinny feet, I suggest you have a look at the thumbnail a few doors down. Two ninety nine noodles, and this was a dollar. Crunch and munch. Okay. Okay. I, roll too. I got great value bread. <laughs> what did I'm you get? Stone. Am I stoned? I'm not even stoned. Am I stoned? <laughs> I just woke up. She okay. does look like a giant pirate, right? Yeah. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Gee. Actually, I woke up. I've been awake for a little while. I washed my face. As you're picking off mascara and eyeliner. So yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. I forgot to add a vanilla powder and address it. I bought some chocolate chip granola bars for Pete. For Pete. Look at you looking away. <laughs> those aren't for Pete. You wouldn't even let him eat those. You'd eyeball the shit out of it. He might get a bite. You're going to laugh at me because you're going to be like, they're for kids. I bought Great Value Brand everything because it's cheaper. Cottage cheese is going in this casserole. I'm a cottage cheese lasagna person. I do not like ricotta. I, I don't love like ricotta. I don't like, I just don't like the cottage cheese. I like the ricotta. Ricotta, like at all. I'm just going to say that. I don't really like ricotta. I find it very like eggy or like fluffy. It's not a cheese I particularly like. I like it in like cannoli, but actually no, mas mascarpone is even better than, than ricotta. Yeah, true. Mascarpone is. The Joe Beef joke is old. No, it's not. Joe Beef is never old. Great value bees. This is half my income bees. Morning coffee bees is. I know. <laughs> How do I promise morning coffee bees? And this is great value brand. <laughs> is this low fat? Oh, wait, no. I love how they put low fat. Like it's fuck no shit. It's tomatoes. Tomato basil sauce, pasta sauce. I got two of those. Okay. okay. I got some great value brand. Thank you, ain't she sweet? All dressed, rippled. Potato chips? Yuck! What's all dressed mean? Are they just full of freaking artificial? Yep. Art oh, free from artificial flavors, huh? Well, it is Canada. Here, they just run that shit right through the plastics factory. All dressed ripples? For some reason, the Great Value brand chips are even better, and they're 97 cents a bag versus three. I can't turn her up because it's on Just Saiyan's channel. Um, are we, is it not loud? Oh, this is going to suck. Hold on, let me find something to lift up. Hold on. It's because it's on a reaction channel. Archive channel. Let me find something, baby. Let me find something, baby. Tiggs, quit wandering around my kitchen. You're a freeloader, Tiggs. What can I find? I know I got something. I could, oh, maybe this. Okay. Uh, uh. Maybe this will lift it up. Probably. Let me lift the... Okay. 
Will this be better? You can hear fine? Okay. I have it up as loud as it'll go and as close to the phone as it'll go. 395. So, he is getting this. Great value. Here's your snacks, Pichu, in two bucks. Whoa. Oh. I got this to put in my, because remember I like the mochas? I want to make a coffee right now. We have pizza mozzarella. I tried for the Great Value Baron and are sold out, so I had to get the $7.98 matzo. And we have some ground beef, medium ground beef, regular ground Ooh, beef. Ooh, ground beef in a tube. What? Oh, yuck. Yuck, 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 Because it's so much cheaper than the... <laughs> The, 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 why do I have to pay attention to these things now? Wait, but this is, um, I want to buy, like, I wonder, I wonder if, you know what, I'm going to try the no-name brand instead. And you know what? Lauren! Jesus, extended. Oh, and I got pizza cases soda downstairs. She used to wheel over to the refrigerator to put shit away. That always cracked me up. I mean, she wasn't even, ob like, morbid, super morbidly obese here. Because this was during that Nader arc, you know what I'm saying? Put some of that in with the... Yeah, it's like ground up wood ch chips and no freaking tube meat. <laughs> oh, all dressed is ketchup, sour cream, and onion, and salt and vinegar together. All right. Good to know. Never heard of it. I gotta clean up the fridge. What was that, yeah. great value soda? Hold on. Up the Grenade, what? What is that stuff? Fish. Oh, you had to get all. Oh, uh, she did it too fast. We gotta do that. Actually, you're gonna, you're gonna laugh your ass off, but I have a thing of vanilla powder here. All right, let's make a friggin' uh, coffee and then get cooking. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'll start cooking the beef right now. Uh, yeah. Because you know what, guys? What's going on? Hold on. That was soda water? Okay. Why don't you just take the tripod over to the stove? What? <laughs> She's pulling her pants up. This is the foodie I miss. Wait, myself, I didn't eat anything today. I want to see how much sure, Jan. By the way, with my shoes off. Let's go weigh ourselves. Sweet. Yeah, she's hotter than any of us. Body weight is 344 pounds. Body weight okay. Is yeah, and then remember when she was in uh, Kuwait dragging a hoof, right? And trying to tell us she only weighed 365 pounds. I'm like, there's no way you only gained 22 pounds. Lying ass. No, why do you have to lie? Okay, okay. It's good to know. Okay, I'm going to put this in the Yeah, I think she hit the 500 mark because she would be way too embarrassed to tell you because she's been 402 before. She would be way too embarrassed to tell you she hit 500. Well, that, would just, that would just be like admitting she's out of control, right? Because, I mean, Amber Lynn Reed weighs 500 and some pounds, you know, 540 some pounds, and she's out trotting around, grocery shopping, going to the damn laundromat at the same height. They're pretty much the same height. Yeah, and now she has to lean back to walk. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. I have my hot knives on the stove, like, just chilling. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the fridge. Oh, my gosh. It's old school. So, already fruit flies. If you don't get rid of them right away. Fruit flies. She's always got fruit flies in her bedroom, the kitchen. I would, listen, there's this little apple thing. It looks like an apple, a little red apple. And that is the only thing that will get rid of fruit flies, like overnight. 
and, and I can't remember. I picked one up once, and I was like, it's probably on Amazon, to be honest with you. But it looks like a little apple and sits on your counter. And they're obsessed with it. And then they're gone overnight. But you don't let them colonize, right? You don't let them colonize. You get rid of them immediately. Put your fruit in the, your fruit in the refrigerator. Put them in a container. There's also a soda here. You flies are not going to be in this house. She got a lot of fruit flies up in that kitchen. Oh, I just seen one go past the... You got, listen, you got fruit flies the size of pterodactyls in there. That ain't a fruit fly anymore, ma'am. That has completely changed genetically. Did you see that thing fly past the camera? It went past here. That ain't no fruit fly. Uh -huh. No. You will not. Do you see that one? Okay, we're slow mo that shit because you all think I'm lying. Check this out. I'm just kidding. You don't. You know what's up. Okay, listen, watch. That is not fruit flies. Oh my God. Oh. Whoa. Watch. No. You. Oh. oh, it's right there. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh. oh. I swear to God, if she was in Florida, I would say they were they were flying cockroaches. I'm telling you right now. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my. That's a flying roach, ma'am. That is not a fruit fly. Fruit flies, you wouldn't even see them on camera. You're killing me, why, why? And you're gonna cook. It's like a moth, something that's genetically just mutated. Oh my God. Fruit fly and steroids, right? Oh my god! All right, back to it. I'll get, I'll get the heebie-jeebies so bad it won't be funny. This is sped up with no sound because she ain't talking. Flying maggots. I don't even know that is a flying roach. Oh my god! It was amber colored, wasn't it? Oh my god. <clears throat> Making my coffee. Okay, Sam. We gotta rest before you can't cook while you drink your coffee. That cat is matted to hell. Oh my gosh! Like that looks like a like a lump of like. Never mind. See. Perfect. Coffee is ready. I'm gonna put some crispy crunch. Chop this is a crispy crunch. I gotta be honest, like there's no way I could handle a cat on my cooking surface. <laughs> they cut up vegetables and everything on that counter. And I always say kitty litter feet, right? Cause they're, they dig in the kitty, I can't, I can't. Never mind. Chocolate milk, flavored chocolate milk. And I love mocha, so. So you're putting chocolate milk mocha in your coffee, okay. You know what? And there's the butthole sitting right on the counter. But do you see the mats? That's why he had to be shaved. Mm. Some people smoke cigarettes when they have coffee. Oh. She gets high. Am I going to be greening out? Mm. Oh, she's pulled cat hair out of everything that they eat. It, oh, my God. <laughs> not as good as the Starbucks. Oh, because God. the coffee's not as strong. In the middle of the day, do I need to be high? <coughs> and you know what? If some people do let their cats climb on the counters, fine. But before you're going to cook or unload your groceries, go across your counters with, um, you know, bleach and water and wipe everything down. Make sure everything is clean before you begin to prep food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that I feel that way about it. I know people whose cats sleep on top of the refrigerator. Fine. But before you're going to actually cook... Just, uh, hey, Ross, see my comment under your last video. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I will when I can. We have Edmonton. Are you from Edmonton, Accountable Beauty? 
Now, as I posted on my community post, no, it's not him, Brooke. I have a friggin'. Do you know what, you guys? I have a whole bunch of people who love me in life. Hey! I ignored your super chat. Thank you, love. Did Adonis close down buying great value brand? I'm on a budget. I think I'm doing that now, actually, Susie. No, I do feel a lot more mature. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I do the same thing <laughs> with my kitchen. You know what I mean? And then, like, if I have company over, I actually wall off the kitchen. So, after I've scrubbed my whole kitchen, like, I wall it off. But my dogs only go in there if, like, Tiggs wants a carrot. But they mostly stay in the living room. It's bizarre. They don't go up in my room. They just stay on the couches. And I vacuum those and all that. But it is. Like, you really got to keep a handle on stuff. I have a 3M um, allergen filter in my furnace, which is also my central air. So I'm always changing that out. It's like $30 for the damn filter. Uh, so I switch that out every month. It's a whole thing when you have animals. <coughs> I know paneer is expensive. No, I don't feel like going to McDonald's these days. I just feel like going back to the Orleans shopping. Because it reminds her of, you know, she has to go to Gatineau, right? A reminder of Natter. And I need to stop ordering out here, right? I want to do a project. How much money I saved not ordering out for a whole month. I want to see. Yeah, that didn't fare well, did it? Paneer is like $50 a day. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, Tally, because I do know, like you said, you know, marijuana causes, you know, the munchies or increased appetite. And that's why people going through chemo, um, will generally, they're better off smoking pot uh, because even the Zofran that for, you know, the anti-nausea, like they say that THC is the best for giving you an appetite and killing the nausea. And they recommend it. They actually recommend it, and, you know, in a medical form. Um, so dispensary. But with Chantal, she was over in Kuwait and gained way more weight and didn't get to have THC. So I don't I don't know, you know, what the deal is with, you know, she gained way more weight over there. Oh my God. What I'm doing, I'm gonna make a lasagna. Yeah, and you can do CBD for pain with no THC. So let's say you have a career where you'll be drug tested, right? You don't want THC, cannabis, in your blood, you know, in your urine or whatever, or even your bloodstream. You know what I mean? I think it's just a urine test and a hair follicle or whatever. But a CBD, they remove the, um, uh, the THC part, and that way you just get the analgesic part. Now, everything here costs like 47 bucks, but that's after delivery. Like most of the money, it, most of the cost was from the delivery and the Uber guys tip. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you say you don't like tipping people? Uh, Cause uh, you know, they're just supposed to be doing their job. Why should I tip people who are supposed to just doing the job they're supposed to do? Like you're supposed to be a YouTuber. You took people's tips and you ran. Why? Where are you? Now, if you come back on and you're in your apartment, then I'll apologize because you actually use the money towards what you said. 1800 on takeout, there's no way. I will like be so depressed if that's true. I could afford a really nice freaking condo in Montreal or something for that price. I guess food addiction is not, is just as expensive as any. I think I was like, I need to have a dick. Like I would be like craving paneer, but that's like not normal. I know, I feel bad for Pete, sorry. He got let down twice now. False hope. But this doesn't matter, because it doesn't matter what she does to Pete. He will be standing there waiting for her. Like, for real, for real. It does not even matter. She, the, he, listen, if Pete's ever found somebody, he would, she would uh, either just um, come between him and his relationship and destroy it, right? Or, or she would flip the fuck out. A lot of He'd have to keep it a secret. 
There's nothing good about eating out. Money, gaining weight, nothing. Mental health. Oh, look at her. A psycho. I know. I actually feel really good that I bought some budget groceries. You <laughs> bought one meal worth of groceries. And you're still sitting there getting high instead of cooking. I do. Yeah, she yeah. wouldn't let him invite female friends over to the villa either. I'm showing it off because I feel good that I bought budget groceries. Okay, so we've been alive for 40 minutes. We've gotten through 10 minutes. I'm just sick of gabbing. Let's go forward to the cooking. Here we go. Finally. We don't need all that. Baby got back with no underpants. I'm literally seeing through the weave of those black pants. I am actually seeing skin, ma'am. Skin. That is skin. <laughs> Through those black pants. We're going to cook. Okay, okay, let's do it. We're going to make a sauce and also boil the noodles. Okay. She's going to make lasagna her way. I'm going to cook some oil. With the cat on the counter. Or... You think she's going to add oil to cook her beef again? Who adds oil to hamburger? And she got the cheap shit. She got the, you know, the meat in the roll. What? Tube meat. <laughs> Sean, be right back. Gotta vomit. All right, we'll wait for you. I don't know why she was running water. What's up a bit? Pre pretending to wash her hands? I don't know. She got oven-ready lasagna noodles that you don't cook. Yeah, that is the whole idea. You put them in there and don't cook them. Um, you can cook them for like five minutes, right? Just to soften them up and then throw them in. Because the sauce will actually cook them. I don't care for lasagna. I haven't had, I have not had lasagna in probably 30 years. Isn't that crazy? There are no vegetables in this lasagna. PSA. I liked vegetarian lasagna when I did have it. I just start blaring my AC. Ugh. She's blaring her AC so she can cook. Can I open this beef tube? I don't know, TCOB. We heard he got sued for like four or $5,000 for the damage to, or, or maybe even just the cleanup. You know what I mean? We don't know. I don't know what outfit she's got going on, but it's giving me like, Snuffleupagus vibes. The purple Snuffleupagus. Oh gosh, sauce from scratch is the only way to go. And let that shit simmer for hours, especially if you're gonna make spaghetti or uh, chicken parm. Listen, make your own sauce and let it simmer. I learned this when I worked for the Italians at the Roma, the Roma Italia restaurant. The owners never let anybody cook their food. They got up at five o'clock in the morning. The restaurant didn't even open till four and they spent all day making those sauces. Oh my God. That was my favorite place to work. They were the most amazing people I've ever met in my work life. I love the smell. And the gnocchis, they were handmade. Handmade gnocchis. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Yes, TCOB. You're singing to my heart. Especially when you, you add that... Uh... And also, garlic powder. Oh, garlic powder. Garlic powder. Not fresh garlic, folks. What else? Break up noodles? I thought you were making lasagna. You're not going to stack this stuff? Oh, God. Is this going to be like the pan lasagna she made in Kuwait? Oh, my gosh. 
No. I don't care. I'm still here for it. Pirate Chantal. Break up some noodles. So. Aye, matey. I'm going to take these. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's always got a rest in between. So let me see. You got two cats on the counter. Uh, you are now going to break up food on a plate with two cats running past the plates and shaking. Because we already know BBJ probably needs her claws trimmed. So she shakes her foot when she's in pain. Uh, but they're both around. We're just... Ah! <laughs> Oh, I need to boil them. Dude. Yeah, but I'm gonna like break them up, like, and make a lasagna. I'm gonna break each piece up and make like a lasagna. What? Kind of. Casserole? Casserole. Oh my God. <laughs> Lasagna my way. Yeah, I mean, everyone has their own way of doing everything, you know? You're right. Grisagna. This will be the only food I have for the day? I have a snack, some chips? Of course. This will be the only food for she's had for the day. She hasn't eaten yet, people. Just coffee and weed. And garlic toast? Yeah, probably, honestly, because... Hi, Nancy. Welcome to the members. Yeah. It'll probably be the only meal I have, yeah. I would say so, yeah. That's good. Okay, we do know right below where she's flicking this mascara with her fingers is the plate she just broke up the lasagna on. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong here? Okay, she need. you know what? She needs a poop punch. What? <laughs> she, would you, okay, let's talk. If you had a choice at whose house you would eat at and you had to eat at one of these two people's house, would it be Shanny or Foodie Beauty? So one for Shanny, two for Foodie Beauty. Whose house would you eat at? Oh. <laughs> Thea Marie, thank you for being a member for seven months. Love watching. I love watching Retro Foodie. Absolutely. She's my favorite soap opera. People are, you can't skip. You have to. You have to. Everybody's like, none, no. Three. There's no three. Fine. You know what three's going to be? Miss Effing Wonderfuls. There you go. Ha ha. You just picked yours. Net Detectives all zero. There is no zero. There's no zeros. Alexis would just basically die. Yeah. Fine. You don't have to. Jinx won't even vote. So at that rate, you can just eat whatever you want. Yeah, there's a lot of fat in tube meat. She's going to drain it down the sink, is she not? Is she not? She's not going to, like, drain it into a can that you've opened and is empty and let it solidify. She's going to drop it right down that drain, is she not? Oh, she forgot to do her Instagram modeling. Okay, we'll wait it out. There you go. Yep, right down the drain. Right down the drain. Oh, my God. I'll bet that plump... Well, they didn't cook very much, did they? Well, she could have tore up the plumbing from, you know, just her uh, missing gallbladder and diet. Oh, good. Scratch your arm skin into the sauce, you know. Every sauce needs a little flaky skin. <laughs> yeah, didn't Pete put kitty litter down the drain? Down the shower drain. <laughs> I can't with these two. Listen, they, neither one of them can adult. I told you, it's like two drunks walking each other home from the bar. Neither one of them got any sense. Take half the noodles out. Okay. 
Put a layer of the broken noodles like that. Okay. okay. She's not boiling them, people. She's putting them in raw and real. What is the whole point of breaking them up? Because it's too much work to cut a square, you know, when it's done and it looks presentable. I mean, she just wants to shove a... Is she eating this alone? She's just going to eat it with a fork. She don't have to cut any pieces out. I don't know. Some of the sauce. Like that. Okay. Okay. You can tell she's only been doing YouTube for seven years, six years, because she doesn't even know how to angle a camera when you're cooking. She just wants you to look at her. She don't want you to look at the cooking. You know what I'm saying? You know, in case a cat hair, or one of them flying cockroaches happened to land in it and y'all go, oh. Cottage cheese. This spaghetti seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit. What do you mean spaghetti seasoning? Are we talking like Italian seasoning? Yeah, she did pour mop, mop water down her kitchen sink in Kuwait instead of the drain in the floor. Ah! <laughs> They literally put a drain in the middle of your kitchen floor. In the middle of your kitchen floor. I just can't. That is gold. In the cottage cheese. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of spaghetti seasoning. She doesn't show the camera. Just trust her. Everybody's Googling spaghetti seasoning. Just like that. Oh, that was in like one of those grandma jars. Like someone mix it. Is that weed? I'll bet it was weed. That's her special spaghetti seasoning. We got to turn this. Right. Yeah. Add a little weed. You see? No. Yeah. No, we can't see. A little bit of a mozza. She's putting mozzarella cheese on top of the cottage cheese. Mozzarella... Oh, she's doing uh, layers, right? She's doing layers. Okay. I thought that was it. <laughs> Just a little bit like that. Okay. And then I put more. Here. So there is a company called Epicure that has a delicious spaghetti seasoning. Okay. Broken. Yes, again. definitely better. Whole milk ricotta. And, and real mozzarella. Real mozzarella. What am I making? I don't yes, know. we're well aware that cottage cheese is often used in replacement. We just said we like ricotta better. Because I, I don't like the texture of cottage cheese. It, some of it's watery. Some of it is, I don't know, it can, it's dry. It's not, it's, it's just not the same. Whatever the hell I feel like making. Okay. Essentially. Fine. Play around That's the kitchen. My That's my stick and I'm just chicken to it. Oh! <gasps> Do you see how full that pan is? Why didn't you, uh, why didn't you get a nine? Oh, never mind. She, she, it looks like she's using an eight by eight size pan. Oh, there it went. I always love she put her belly on the sink because it was more comfortable. I'm just putting the pot right away. Nice. I'll have to check that out. I think I'm gonna renew my Sam's membership. There's some stuff over there I wanna I wanna get. I haven't we don't have a Costco, but um I'm gonna be going somewhere, not this weekend, but next weekend, um, for the weekend. And over there there's a Costco and it's like um, the people I'm going with have a Costco card, so I'm so excited to go to Costco. We're clutching my butt cheeks for some reason. Can I let go? 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 Can I let
That's why I like um, vegetarian um, lasagna because I'd rather have the spinach mixed with the ricotta and all that than the meat. I don't like. I don't like the meat. I like uh, more of like the white sauce lasagna with the spinach and oh yeah, that's my fave. What are you screenshots? But I haven't had that in over a year. And when I did, I bought it from Gordon's Food Service, and it was like the best. Four cheese vegetable lasagna I've ever had. Thing out about my life. I'm not getting a stoma. Okay, can we? Uh... Maintenance versus gaining is an accomplishment. I'd like to maintain 200 pounds. I don't even know. Yeah, we'd like to see you lose 200 pounds. You're five foot for shit's sake. I just wanna. I know people that are five feet tall and they weigh 120 pounds, and they look stunning. If you lost 200 pounds back then, you'd be 144. Now, if you lose 200 pounds, what are we sitting at? 300? You got to stop. I hope she stayed in Canada. Please, God, tell me she did. Do we have any updates? Nope. Ugh. Not think about it. From now on, I'm buying no name brand everything. These chips are better than the freaking uh, ruffles. The ruffles were four bucks a bag. These are 97 cents a bag. Chips are just greasy. Make your own in the air fryer. Walmart brand. Paying three rents now. <laughs> I'm just trying to be better. Poverty or yeah. So thanks for resubbing actually. Jeff, I really like this Ariana Grande perfume. It's been saving me. Okay. This is bougie lol cow. This is bougie lol cow. <laughs> yeah, she wear. She looks like a pirate. None of her clothes match. Uh, she's. Oh my gosh, she's got bugs flying around, like flying cockroaches in her kitchen. The cats are walking and sitting all over the food prep area. This is. It's great. I'm putting Tristelli brand on that all on my lasagna. Let's make some garlic toast. Family favorites. How many is she gonna make? How many four cheese garlic toast is she gonna make? I can't stand myself. Mm. Let's make some Yes, I did, TCOB. I did watch it, yeah, on Moon's channel, yeah. But she still has to deal with Illinois, too. That's where all the baby stuff took place. So the Arkansas stuff, that is by reason of insanity or whatever. But now she's got to deal with the Illinois stuff. The whole, oh, boy. That thing flew by again. Right there. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to tap it back. Hold on. We're going to slow this shit down. We need to pay attention over there on the counter. Over there. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We got to pay attention when she comes back. Over here. Oh. <laughs> What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Moths do not come out during the day. What is it? Like I said, if she was in Florida, I would think it was a fucking flying cockroach. Duh. Something has morphed. Something has morphed. It's not a butterfly. Oh, oh they're everywhere. She called them gnat or uh, fruit flies. I'm sorry, unless you live in the Congo, fruit flies are just tiny in the U.S. No, it ain't a stink bug. This thing had the body, okay, hold on, of Mothman, but it doesn't look like a moth. It just doesn't. It's a maggot morphing. Hold on. <laughs> It came up out of her ass. It didn't even come out of the counter. It came up from down here. 
what you got flying out of here, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, never mind. God, do I miss the villa full of bugs and thugs. You know what I'm saying? Wannabe thugs. She's a wannabe thug. Oh, yeah, I got to put that back on normal or we'll just be torturing ourselves. <laughs> Can you imagine? They don't like the almonds matter. Some people don't. They don't like that I'm with Nader. They don't like that I'm with Nader. Some people don't. When I was with him. Uh, no, you stayed with him until you bought Salah. In fact, Goose Chuck put up a nugget that was it just saying, had in her archives, where basically Foodie gave away in a live stream uh, talking about she may have an opportunity. She may have an opportunity. Anyway, I just, when we're done with this, let's, you can go watch it. <laughs> You're trying to trick me. Oh no. Everybody knew you were seeing him. Busted? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are busted. You guys just look for anything, don't you? I'm gonna trick Foodie Beauty today. Hey! You have friggin' scoundrels. Now this is gonna overflow everywhere, I know it. But! She got the... He, she got that apple butt, you know what I'm saying? Does it not look like an apple? <laughs> apple bottom jean jean boots with the fur. <laughs> it's shaped like an apple. It even does the little thing at the bottom. <laughs> That's a good one. She needs a little punch in the ass. You know what? We... Step it up, <laughs> diaper booty. Ah, grandma's diaper booty. Stop it, frog bum. <laughs> We're gonna try. What? <laughs> you know, not everyone should wear stretch pants. Can we? I won't wear them. I won't wear leggings or stretch pants. They're literally made for the the Brazilian butt girls. You know what I'm saying? Where. It just makes, listen, you got to have absolutely no flaws and a perfect ass, no dimples, no wrinkles, no drag. If you're going to wear stretch pants, they are not made for everyone, ma'am. And when you bend over, I should never see the weave of a stretch pant. 100, right. They even look like shit on skinny girls with flat butts. They're not attractive. They're made for those, you know, those girls. They're in there doing squats in the gym. And you're like, dang. <laughs> you know what I mean? Flaunt that stuff. But don't think it's going to make you look like them. That's the Delulu land we just, we just don't go to. Excuse me. 375? Later. Look at her cleaning as she goes. Who are you? What'd you do to Foodie Beauty? You're a body double. She cleaning. The kitchen's clean. I have my Bath and Body Works soap from Tiff. And hey, sweetie. I'm just gonna put these little Chickens. Can we get Sweetie off the counter? That'd be great. Snooze. Well, I'm well aware women can wear whatever they want, but you know. Yeah, it's not like you can go out and take photos and, sh and prove that they're not made for everybody, right? Stretch pants, whatever. Um, yoga pants, uh, those are a different story, but it's the damn stretch pants. You know what I'm saying? They're tight, tight. 
Um, but then you get shit for doing a comparison. So we're at a stage in life where humor is out the window. Everything's got to be fact-checked, even humor. Right? Oh, my God. What a sad world. Yes, I post on OnlyFans. I still can't believe she had an OnlyFans account. She is so enamored by being even an OnlyFans star that she'll do anything for money. I really believe that. Anything for money. Oh, uh. Some people like Remember Chantal, the love of money's the root to all evil. Don't let the, don't let that escape you. Post like once a month on OnlyFans. <laughs> it just depends. But I'm gonna do a lot more content on there for sure. I wanna try a great value brand for Do you think I'm showing you my fupa for free? Can somebody find out? <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna Google. You have showed your fupa for free. Later. When I need to audition for Canadian Idol. Who told you you could sing? Was it your family? Listen, her family needs to be honest. I mean, she, come on, she's 40 now. It's time for your family to be honest. I think you can take it. I think you could take a bit of honesty. Oh, no, she can't. She strikes every channel that gives her honesty. Never mind. Yeah, she'll do anything not to work. She wants to be Trisha Paytas. Remember, she was going to rent a mansion. What, did you watch? Did you binge watch Trisha Paytas that day? Come on now. You and Pete have no business being in a mansion of any sort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, your family lied. You can't sing. All you do is you, you try to do that, that vibrate. And you're not even singing with your, you're not even singing with your talking voice. You're trying to create a voice, your Burger King speaker voice. That doesn't work. I don't have a Patreon anymore. So that's probably the last time they took your money, Lindsay. And then... That's it. Yeah, most normal people are not obsessed with Trisha Paytas or even think that she's like some sort of role model as a wife and mother or even as a creator. Because, but what, why, why the, we'll call, we'll call it the overweight are obsessed with Trisha's because she is some sort of hope for them that they could mukbang 20 McDonald's plus KFC and be successful and never have to work again. That's what it's about. It ain't even about, you know, like, look at, look at all of them are living a Delulu land. And then you get people like Chantal um, most, okay, so what you're going to find on YouTube, um, this is fascinating. You get people, like, you start watching them, and you go, okay, you side-eye all of it, right? Even family channels. They got their kids doing stupid shit, and I'm like, what is wrong with you people? What has happened to the world today? <laughs> right? So anyway, but it's for our entertainment, I suppose. Um, I don't watch family channels, but I've been watching, like, renovations, and unfortunately, there's a family putting on a show while they renovate. Um, they got the kids doing stuff and it's just creeping me the fuck out. So I just tapped out. But like, I you start watching somebody and they're like, oh yeah, I'm all about this. Even if it's about trying to find children that are missing, right? They get their niche in there and they start tagging all these kids. And then the next thing you know, you find out that they, they're an addict and, and uh, they've been using kids just to... Just, a, oh, it's terrible. Oh my gosh. When I see, I start, I was covering the Summer Wells case when it first happened because my heart just broke. My heart broke. The, the family's all fucked up. And then the boys got removed from their family. And, and it was so much. But then when I seen the characters roll in to um, start covering it, I'm telling you, the devil got, got a hold of a few of them. T two of them who tried to come across as, probably the 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 best ones in Tennessee covering it that they, they're they're holed up in a hotel now all cracked out like I'm telling you man I, I just you know eventually the dark comes to light it for patreon why would I pay Dee's rent she's been paying her rent this whole the whole life right I think she owned her house well I'm gonna get yeah, I don't know what's going on with him, Dita. 
He just, he just doesn't look physically well, but I don't know. I ain't following any of that shit anymore. I'm just not. Because if, like, I don't get emotionally involved. You're like, oh, this is a good person. Oh, I'm going to follow them. They're such a good person. I don't do that. I am always cynical. Cynical. And they all start fighting with each other, and then they start exposing each other's drug habits. And, it, and it's a shit show. The whole thing's a shit show. And I'm not even let down. I'm actually uh, surprised it took this long. You guys some postcards. You'll probably get a postcard once a month if you're in the postcard club. And they never got a postcard. Yeah, truthfully, Trisha is the best lol cow. <laughs> but she gets on my nerves. I have to watch her go do something like foodie cooking. I like watching foodie cook. I like watching truthfully, Trisha try to go camping and put on a show because she's histrionic. I used to love watching Shani for Christ cook because she's, she's histrionic, right? I, I like that stuff, but I, I don't really like watching um, people like getting money out of people for their addiction. That, that, that is just, you know, wow. And the month is not over, so leave me alone and suck my balls. Three day old candies, and just so you know. And I gotta be true. I got. I mean, I got to be honest. So that was the first time or second time, but this is the the first time I actually seen Foodie, which I think it's for Salah. Um, first time I seen Foodie beg people for money. So I have a feeling it has something to do with Salah holding her money because even when she was with BB and her, you know, she wasn't working, but and I know she was getting you know a little bit of um, severance pay, but from her job, but. I never seen her beg anyone for money. She just kept working at it, working at it, working at it until her channel, even with Natter, you know, she was giving all her money to him, uh, but she wasn't on here. You know what I mean? That was so shocking to me. And, and it is bizarre. And I think this has to do with Salah. I feel like she wasn't desperate to go back to Kuwait. I feel like she's being paperclip. You know what I'm saying? No. It's got a different feeling. You can change your name to Chantel's two-day-old panties. Thank you very much. Love that for you. You pay anyone's rent who sleeps with you. So, what do you care? Uh, somebody goes, you'll pay anyone's rent that'll sleep with you. She goes, so what? What do you care? Anyway, if I want to give people I sleep with all my money, what do you care? Boy, that didn't fare well, did it? Do you guys want a Lachine book card? Where do you want your vote first postcard from, from around me? You didn't even give them one from Cuba. Let alone Kuwait. Those people paid for those postcards. Why didn't you just make merch in a merch store? And then you wouldn't have, honestly. You want one from Ottawa. You want one from Lachine. You want one from Orange Julep. Yeah, people would have. They've never been to Canada. Never. Clips. What do you want? Joe Beef. If it was a Lachine postcard? You'll join? Because I will. I'll go to Lachine and get you a postcard. Do they have Lachine postcards? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what his hold is on her. But it may not even be just a blackmail thing. This could be, I've got people watching you in Canada. Um, you need to come back. I don't know. Like, something just feels really off. Because she was really happy when she got to Canada. Bye, ain't she sweet? Thank you. I can't believe she never sent one postcard. I know, and they kept paying. I love the Beezers. <laughs> no, but she is not a tourist area. Gatineau. Beautiful Gatineau. I swear they have one. Oh, I can get you a Motel Adam for sure. I know, postcards were the easiest thing to give that tier member, that tier level. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've given out designer purses to my members. I've given you know, so much diamond jewelry. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I have given out so much to my members. And it's crazy. She couldn't even do postcards. Never get her yeah, yeah, I heard a lot of her beezers unsubscribed, um, which is sad. Um, uh, hopefully, she comes back and she's in an apartment because that did not go well for her. That is really going to hurt her. Coming. I wanted to wait a couple weeks. So I'm going to get to the post office and get it out. And she never did. 
Read your mail. It's free. I know. I don't think that's why. We love that for you. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if she would have done, like, a Friends t-shirt? Like, with the words Friends under it. And there was, like, there's, like, a picture of her and Pete's on it. Like, all the characters of her show. Oh, my gosh. She would have done well. I mean, I, I just, she just does the least. I don't get it. What would you call it? And she could have even invested in, like, her own line, like all of them do her own line of something. I mean, she was making almost 20 grand a month. She could have invested in a business. I can't with her. Seeing somebody, or was, and I suddenly don't want to talk about it anymore. Is that lying or what? Just in the trash. Hi, Yomi. So where do you guys want your first postcard? I think I'm going to do a poll. Ottawa, Gatineau, Cornwall, or Lachine. <laughs> Did you make your sauce? No, everything is from a jar. Trying not to talk about it. Everyone brings it up. Nobody wants to date me except for Dragon Lord from <laughs> Okay, I don't care about your gossip hour. I have a life to live outside of you, foodie. Let's move on. Is that lasagna done yet? At that point, you can tell when he's really angry. Why would you even keep running back to somebody who gets so angry at you for being you? I mean, we know you're annoying, but Pete's don't get annoyed with you. Why wouldn't you stay with someone who accepts you for who you are? I don't get it. And now you're with another one. And you're so miserable, and I don't care what you say. I don't know if she's in love with the idea of him and a, and a couple's channel over actually... I don't know, because now we're at a point where the couple's channel's dead. He won't go on camera with her. The whole gig is up. And she keeps running back. Now, to me, it's like a paper clip. I thought of this from the beginning. I told her to say banana if she's in trouble. And she actually said banana once. And that, like, kind of creeped me out a little. And now I'm like, did you get yourself in a situation where you have to see it through? And you don't get a choice? Oh, my God. What if she has to find him, somebody else? Oh, my God. Remember when Chantal said, do you deserve to be beaten? I said that in my drunk rage, did Yeah, you did. Yep, you sure did. You said Dee Dee deserved to be beaten by Natter. Yeah, you did. You can't blame it on alcohol. You said a lot of nasty, 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 nasty shit. Now, why didn't you ever apologize? If I could take it back, I would. But like you could by apologizing. Yeah. Yeah, you could. People are forgiving. It would be so hurt if my husband did that. Really? Don't get offended easily, guys. Like, She don't get offended easily. Get out of here. You've been striking channels since you started your channel. You have struck Charlie Gold. Oh, let's just go back. Should we go back? Yes, you get offended. You get offended by the truth. You get offended by a mirror put in front of your face. You get offended by not having a filter on your camera. You get offended by people staring at you while you're eating in a parking lot. So you have to pull into a dark alley, right? You get offended if anybody sees you going into a weed shop. Stop. You know, sometimes you have weird little ways of doing affectionate things. What, like flicking cigarettes at you and hitting you? So now you make excuses? I can't. Mm -mm. Um, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Can I eat a lasagna now? Yes, eat your lasagna. <clears throat> if that's not malice... Go get it. I, it was, I, guess. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. Yes, your whole Cuba rage was malice. Yes. I was not affectionate. Maybe not that, but. Do you make fun of his little boy sized clothes? Yeah, I do. Actually, I call him chicken legs and camel because of his long face. I made fun of him too. Yeah, that's what we did. We made fun of each other. I like making fun of my life. He called her buffalo because you can't see her ears when she's staring at you. <laughs> That's why he called her buffalo. Because he couldn't see her ears. I swear to God, I'll never get over that. I, I, I will never get over that because now I, I can't unsee it. Lovers. Look at this lasagna, everybody. Okay. Finally. What does your oven look like at this point? I mean, can, can we open the oven door and see 
how much tomato sauce bubbled over onto the, yeah. There is a fine love between love and hate. Fine. Oh, you can tell it bubbled over. This side right here. <laughs> you gotta wonder why. Ew, what does that look like to you? BV. Yeah, that's why she went out and hugged the camels and said, Shalah, take me to the camels. They remind me of Natter, please. And then she gets MERS, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. <laughs> High fever. Had to go and get breathing treatments. But yeah, keep hugging the camel. And you have to remember, I talk shit about him public first, right? So he's probably thinking, well. But he's your abuser, isn't he? There you go. No, they ain't cleaning the oven still. They just took it out and threw it in the dump. You know what I'm saying? Put a new oven in. Wasn't worth it. Anyways, we're talking about... Today we're talking about lasagna. Okay. Mmm. No, 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 no. Let me get a box or something to eat on. It is a bit watery. Well, we know there's 3,000 boxes over there to your um left. But let's see how it tastes. Okay. Are the noodles cooked? I don't know. They're real tempting. This way. I do brush my teeth. I brushed my teeth today with no toothpaste, but. Yeah, it just looks like slop. It looks uh, gooey. Because my toothbrush is down here and the toothpaste is upstairs. That's a problem. <laughs> How does that work? Your toothbrush is downstairs in the bathroom where you crap all the time, right off the kitchen. And the toothpaste upstairs in your bedroom. And we know you don't go upstairs unless you're ready to bees for the night. How are you brushing your teeth? Old, old style, right? Peroxide and, to, and uh, baking soda. Once I get them both in the same room. <laughs> yeah, once she gets them both in the same room, she'll brush her teeth. No work of progress. God, you... <laughs> I miss you living in Canada. Oh, God, please tell me she got an apartment with Pete. Please tell me, please tell me. Please tell me it's a thing. Please tell me she didn't go back to Kuwait. I can't do Kuwait. I will, but I can't. She's my soap opera. I can't give up just because shit gets dull. Mmm. They don't look like, mmm. It's healthy. <laughs> You ever think of starving children while you're stuffing your face? I try not to. <laughs> you're such an ass. <laughs> Somebody said, do you ever think of starving children when you stuff your face? I try not to. Oh, God. I try not to. Don't you know that? If you're in a relationship with somebody, like, think of it. If you're in a relationship with somebody. Yeah. I have been 20 years. Go ahead. It, it just might be too much for, like, one person, you know? No. That's only if somebody's trying to control the other one or manipulate. That's the only time relationships don't work. You just let each other be independent. You let each other grow. You, you, even if they have a harebrained idea like my husband had when he wanted to buy a, listen to this, listen to this, this is where we're at. He wanted to buy a flat trailer and he wanted to build a cabin on it. And if I would have said, no way, that's crazy. That would have been hurting his feelings because he pictures it, he draws it, he can do it. I know he could. So what I did do, because to me, I don't know, like we're not manufacturers of campers, okay? Or tiny homes, to be honest. Start a business, name it, and build them. And submit your plans, okay? Make sure everything is approved. But I went and researched, you know, keyboard shit. That's the sound you're hearing, keyboard. Um, what it would take to plate, ensure, and provide a VIN number because you can't get a title without a VIN number and you can't get insurance or plates without a title, right? Everybody knows the, the chain of command there, right? So I researched and it's called a, um, it, it's not a manufactured vehicle. It's called a, it's basically a handmade vehicle. 
You can't put that shit on the road until, and I told you, when I made the list and screenshot all the things you had to do, and then they may not even approve it after you spent all the money. That's all I had to do. Yeah, it's not a building permit. It is called a... Hold on, it'll come to me. Let me take a drink of water. Think about this a second. It is called... It's called a something vehicle. Nope, not a prototype. Anyway, it has its own name. And it basically, the word means manufactured, right? Like you, you, um, yeah, it has to be road worthy. It has to be plate worthy. It has to be insurance worthy. It has to, you literally right down to the last screw. You have to list all the building materials, what they cost, uh, the weight, the dimensions. You have to go to a real truck scale. You have to have a police officer. Uh, and while well, somebody that even uh, is able to... Um, assess its durability or whatever you call it, you know, ability to be pulled down the road in a wind kind of shit. Nope, not mechanically engineered. It's got a whole nother name to it. it um, by Michigan law anyway. So I was like, so here's what, after you build it, here's all you have to do. And it still may not get approved. And that's all it took. He goes, yeah, I ain't doing all that. I know I said it. Did I say it before? I don't remember. I don't know. I'll think of it. You know, maybe two people are better than one in some cases. Anyway, my point is, Chantal, you can't, he can't be trying to control you. You can't be trying to manipulate and control him. Those relationships will never work. And if you are a defiant person, oh, that was weird. Did you see it flash? Why? Hmm. Well, we can't just write farm use when it's an actual cabin built on a, a trailer and you're about to haul it across state lines or whatever. You can't do that. Um, he, yeah, I mean, and, and I wasn't going to be like, you know, even though my mind's going, oh, my God. I mean, you're not <laughs> you're not a you know, manufacturing company. Come on now. But I didn't say that. Like, you have to learn to hold in the things you're thinking. I mean, I don't always do that, especially if I'm reviewing something like this, reacting and it's nonsense. But when it comes to like real life relationship, you have to actually stop. It, only insecure people try to control other people and tell them about themselves. Like, you know, can you imagine you're married to a man and he's insecure as fuck and you come down, you feel beautiful and they are so insecure that they tell you you don't look good even though you do, or you know what I'm saying? Like, could you even imagine? That's like, that's a hit to your spirit, but it makes them feel good because they want you to think less of yourself because their worst fear is that you're going to leave them. And Foodie has a worst fear uh, and it shows. She's defiant. She's insecure. Um, it's ridiculous. And there's no way you should ever be in a relationship with someone that constantly puts you down. You have one life to live. You are perfect in God's eyes. So who cares what a human being thinks? Unless you are used to being beat down and you think that's love and that's what you deserve. Well, you need to change that thinking or you're going to live a miserable existence. The end. Amen. So what I'm saying is the first sign that Foodie, when she met Nader, and when, she, when Salah said, if you show your legs, I'll kill you, uh, right there, you're done. Of course, who looks on Tinder, right? Nobody. Uh, some people do. Not for a relationship. But she has Pete who loves everything about her, but he's not good enough. I don't get it. I don't get it. Two people are definitely more supportive than one person. Would you want two husbands? Think about it. It would be too much though, I think. You have to be pretty, exactly. You have to be okay with it. And most people are not. There are some people who are. I'm not a swinger. She said she's not a swinger. 
then why did you let yourself be led to a bed with swingers? You knew they were swingers. Weirdos. Why did you lie and say you didn't do the edit to his video and said we don't know shit? And then on the panel confess to doing it. I didn't confess anything. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Gosh. I seen it. I seen it. Yeah, if the, you know, you know well, it, they know, how, listen, people like that know how to love bomb people they feel that are giving, caring, and loving, and they want to be loved like that, but they just can't give it back. Like, to be honest, because uh, Ellen said, I do get it. If there's no spark or anything like it, it is difficult to be with someone who objectively seems a good match. Well, as soon as you see the red flag that you're not a good match, things are not going to get better, no matter how much they promise it will. It's time to go. Because if anybody can treat you like that just once, they're going to do it for a lifetime. That's the truth. It's in them. It's who they are. And you need to see that because they know how to love bomb. And, you know, you just got to get wise and walk away. Go live your best life. Not under somebody's thumb. Not under somebody's rule. But whatever path you're supposed to walk. What a beautiful life. And look at Chantal once again with a guy that is controlling. And I don't care what she says. I can see it. Yeah. Pete's was the true life she led. But for some reason, she says it's boring. Life is boring, Chantal until you find who you are and then you get to make it exciting for yourself instead of looking for some man to make it exciting for you. I mean, you used to actually have a vigor for life. Now it is, wow, whoa. Guys. I mean, I thought Nattard, you know, tested you, but this guy, he's got you all kinds of fucked up. I have to go. I don't know. She's had that tattoo forever. Yeah. Some guy, she let some guy just do a freehand tattoo on her. Never do that. Never, ever. It's permanent. Never, ever, ever, should you ever have a guy be creative. You don't even know. He could be on acid. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just living out a dream or something. It looks like two ninja stars. You know that uh, martial arts weapon thing? It looks like two ninja stars dancing. It is the most ridiculous thing i ever seen in my life. Um, I don't think Pete's is turning into a woman. I think she used that to try to get the LGBTQI or plus IA community um, to, to watch her channel because she was tagging them. It was like character she wanted Pete's to be. I have to go for now. So I hope you like this disastrous cooking. You know what I need to do? I need to be less lazy. Oh my, here we go. Oh my God, what are you wearing, Grandma? <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> I can't even look at her. Oh my God. I missed this shit so bad. Who the hell wears that? OMG. Stop. Oh my God, what, what happened? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> so I need a mocha, a proper mocha. I haven't had one today, so this is what I'm doing with my Are stuff. these her jammies? Right now. I'm getting one and a nice hot water. She's freaking going for a drive to the long road. It looks like she works at a children's dental office. For real. Listen to music. I just want to listen to music right now. Or the veterinarian office as a tech. That would have been a good job. She could have learned about pet care. Could she not? No, she'd mistreat other people's pets. She'd get annoyed. In no way do we let her around children. She always did that because she thought you would see her um, debit card. And she's literally handed her debit card over to a, a romance scammer. I love it. Karma's a bitch, isn't that? It's just a trip. She didn't want any of you all 
to see that damn card. And now somebody in another country is holding on to that damn card. I know she's always touching her face and her hair. It drives me nuts. Why is she talking to those people in the window so long? Did they get her order wrong or what? What's the problem here? There we go. <laughs> okay, S. Jam, what's up? Uh, three times, quit asking my girlfriends and my boyfriends. You fucking don't. Look, mom, you smoked THC only about three hours ago. What? Give me a break. I'm as sober as they come right now. That's what matters. Hi, Brock. I like you. I don't care if it's fake. It's a bit fake. Mm. Chocolatey milk, other things, all that stuff. <laughs> Diabetic coffee. Anyways, people like me, I told you. Goes without saying. I definitely miss the old Chantal. All right, I'm going to put music on, so it's going to be copyright striped. I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a drive on the long road. Oh, Ooh. boy, shoot. You were dressed like that, heading to Natters? Cause, or is she going to the outhouse? She's probably going to the outhouse. Ooh, Krista, you need your AC on, pal. Don't call the cops on me! <laughs> Before People were accusing her of being high. Oh, lasagna, which you filmed at uh, home. So what? I'm not stoned. So? Kiss my butt. Okay, let's go for a ride on the long road. What do you think? We just found out we don't have I'm a BAC. I'm eating a we cookie. Next week. What does AB mean? Yeah, this is the best mocha. It's so chocolatey. Remember someone's like, it looks- Don't shake it. Super chocolatey? Go down the short road? No! Uh... Wasn't the long road to Natters and the short road was to the, um, to the outhouse? I can't remember. It's been so long since we got to play around in Canada. I'm sleeping at home tonight, Brooke. You never found her funny? How? I, if I didn't find her funny, I wouldn't even watch her. The end. I wouldn't. She cracks my ass up. I can't even believe someone will flick on a camera half the time and do half the shit she's done. Holy crap. Except for the, the vile shit. That used to piss me off. I have some errands to do right now. The long road was the outhouse. Okay. Shaking those damn coffees. I swear. If I would have been next to her, I'd have snatched it out of her hand and threw it on the ground. All right. I am not under the influence of anything except for... Your annoying butt cheeks. I still need that missing Thailand boat footage. When she got out of that boat. <laughs> I still, the, the look on their faces of pure exhaustion and Salad trying to hold back the biggest fucking laugh of his life. <laughs> that was gold. It just cut and there they sat, literally exhausted. I can't even imagine <laughs> what took place. Well, I can, that's what makes me laugh. I'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> you and your wildest dreams. Puka mom, this is the last time I'm looking at my chat before I start driving responsibly. So you didn't smoke about three hours ago. I don't know exactly how long ago it was. It was probably to, 20 minutes ago. To, to smoke a joint an hour. I'm just kidding. Actually, I, there is like no, like when the cops stopped me that one time, it's like, there's no real way for like, there's no law. Like you can't drive stone. So like, I'm not stoned at all. So yeah, I think a few hours is good enough. What do you want me to do? Yeah, that's why we watch her tell you, right? Who's ever seen a 40-year-old toddler? Like, for real, like, has tantrums, um, gives in to every impulse, 
you know, where usually a parent has to correct them away from the impulse, right? No, we get to see a 40-year-old toddler. This is the best thing. I mean, yeah, she's done some horrible shit uh, because her defense mechanism is so childish. Like, there is absolutely no learning from anything. I mean, you can't make this up. It's the only reason I watch her. I never know what's going to happen. You stay home 24 hours? Is that like the law? There's like So wait a minute, what? Yes, I, I just, I talked about that earlier, NY, that she was in Takat's chat, her and Salah, and they were apologizing to Takat. Um, but like the, uh, the audience or like the watchers, they were not having it. Like they were trying to fix the Muslim community problem because Salah always told Takat he has her back. And then this went and happened and yeah, it was a whole thing. There's like no law. I didn't even smoke a whole joint, so. She goes, I didn't even smoke a whole joint, so. We already know she has a THC vape in her car. Yes. Please, she's hit it before. And then I was thinking of getting it here later. <laughs> because honestly, here's the thing. I didn't like the lasagna at all. It tasted like can, great value, canned great value sauce. That's all it tasted like. I cannot. Yeah, but you could have like, doctored it up with some Italian seasoning, some garlic. I mean, you could have made it your own. Just use the, you know, the tomato base, <laughs> but whatever. Not you can't spaghetti sauce anymore. It tastes like the tin. You know, like that tinny, tin, tin flavor? That's gross. Not by the hair on my tinny, tin, tin. I don't like that at all, so. I want you to know. Working for you. And I so now I'm a YouTuber. Wish nothing but hotel room with jizzy sheets for you. What? You and Nada are in a hotel room. My God, you better hope they don't have cameras in there. You're going to end up on the dark web somehow. Nothing the doctor Especially the one with the chair. I just feel like a sleaze ball owned that motel because it looks sketchy, dirty. Like if you'd have ran a black light in that room, Honest to God, it would have looked like one of those rave parties. You know what I'm saying? There would have been many colors glowing. And then they had that bent over chair and you act like you didn't know what it was about. You're both sickos. You're all sickos. Anyway, I'm just saying, you better listen. They, it's probably already out there. Kiwi Farms will find it. I'm just saying, you know there's cameras in those kind of motels. They're, they don't even have to be a producer or an a director or an editor. They literally just upload that shit under a paywall and make him bank off your Apple ass. Get out of here. Oh my God, can you imagine? The doctor that I had to admit for and book hotel rooms and stuff for. It's hidden in the light switches, the lamps, right? The headboard. <laughs> Dummies. Yeah, I hope your hotel room has dirty poop in your toilet. Yeah, and I hope your your quinoa salad you eat every day has an ant inside of it when you go to eat it tomorrow for lunch. Oh, shut up! You got flying cockroaches in your kitchen. Quit wishing to quit spreading your juju on everybody when you got your own problems. Come on now. <clears throat> this person made me feel so incompetent. Like, would make me type up a bullet and then be like, I don't like how this is done, and then I would have my like. English major, business administration, super expert friend, write a letter. And it was still not good enough. Because they thought it was from me. You know what? I probably could have written like the crap. I probably could have taken a Crayola crayon and red crayon and scribbled on a piece of paper. And I would have said, it was from the other secretary. And they would have been like, oh, how lovely. That's how, that's exactly how it felt. Come on, we know you were not a productive worker you can't even be productive in a normal day-to-day -day life just being a youtuber like if you made this your life vlogging your life no matter what you did you became a sensation why wouldn't you continue on making content you got lazy you got entitled then you got um messy and then you uh, you know what you ruined your channel who does that Ah. Oh. 
crying out loud. I should have just had been here for supper. And you know what else I believe? I believe she couldn't handle doing YouTube again, alone. She can't do anything alone. She always needs somebody to bounce off of, right? Because she's not confident in herself when she's actually the show. Nobody wanted Pete's in the frame. We'd be like, oh, God, Pete, go back to your room, play with your little ponies, right? And BB, he just mean mug you. Get that camera out of my face, right? So you were your own show. You were better off alone. And then you nod her. And L. Roman, how is Roman? Roman, get well, buddy. Um, and then and then, you get, then now Salah, he turns out to be some poop fetish, freaking pretend three-time black belt kung fu uh, stop. Just get yourself an apartment and vlog your life. I promise you, you'll be successful. Get rid of these people. 47.10 is exactly what my video costs. And no, it's not about stuff for lasagna. <laughs> people like it. <laughs> no, I did something not selfish today. Look at it. She goes, I did something not selfish today. <laughs> A milestone. We're at that damn outhouse. We know what you do there. You wait for that. Let's see if there's a sketchy car waiting for her. How she has not been dragged through the woods by left for dead. I have no idea. The chances this woman takes also astounds me. Could you clean your windshield? I mean, come on, girl. That is the dirtiest windshield I've ever seen. I can't drive with a dirty windshield. It looks like shit's jumping out at you. We're going the outhouse. She's so excited. She's making her little squealy sounds. Well, I know, Lucy. Who could drag her anywhere? But a ratchet strap, you know? And you know what I mean? Which one is it? Which one? There, there he is. There's that car again. Remember the one that was sitting in there smoking a cigarette when she went home to Canada uh, the first time from Kuwait? Here it, there, here's that car again. <laughs> She's, she's just batshit, okay? <laughs> the fuck, girl? Take it down a notch. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Because people think I pick up cocaine at this other house. Ma'am, this is where you get your 1,000 milligram uh, over the legal limit gummies from. We know that. You get that other stuff. From Nader. She don't even take... Listen, she ain't even afraid of... We'll just say the other F word. Being in those, those you know, basement making things she indulges in. She ain't even worried about the other F word. That's taking people out in numbers. You make me laugh about it. Yeah, I'm good. We don't think it's sis. Get your money. Oh, shit. I didn't tell RSN anything that I was looking I never did. Lambo! What a tarnation. It's freaking sunny. The sun's going down. Oh. Look at her in this hat, those sunglasses, and a cat shirt. I don't put music on and sing and bees and for the long road. Life is beautiful. Enjoy it to the fullest. Huh? We love that for you. Goodbye. Hold on. I gotta put my music on. Does she ever get out of the car and go get her? You know what? She used to like, I don't even know how she did it before, but she always stopped at the outhouse. Always. And she'd be like, I gotta go take a poop. I'll be right back. <laughs> I miss Canada beezing. Oh my God. She was so, but she was so alive and happy. Yeah.
I don't even want to hear her nonsense. She's so miserable in Kuwait, it makes me miserable. Her happiest day in Kuwait was still way worse than her worst day in Canada. Nope, she still hasn't posted yet. I know, I love this pause. All right, let's see if she's posted yet. Oh, God. Foodie, come on. Let's see if her channel comes up. Nope. Now we got to put in the filter again. She's losing algorithm. Oh, boy. Community? Nothing. She wasn't playing. I think she's setting up an apartment. There's no way she'd stay away this long. No freaking way. No freaking way. <coughs> anyway. That was fun. I like having fun like that. I don't like people come in here and then they get angry and pissed off. I don't run my channel like that. I try not to. <clears throat> but there's sometimes she does piss us off and we have to be in the moment, okay? But generally, no. I like to have laughs. She might have got a second strike. That would be two weeks off. She won't even go on the Twitch. She didn't even last time she got a strike. I have no idea what her sock accounts are. I'm not that invested. Like to go around and find out. She might have got another strike, yeah. She said she landed April 1st in Canada. What day did she go live? Oh, uh, let me see. That would have been the first day in the car. Oh, we don't want to see any of that. Oh, wait. We have to go under live stream, right? <laughs> okay, hold on. So, seven days ago was the third she went live in the car on the third. But remember, she was on a strike. So she couldn't come back until her strike was over. Maybe we can figure out if she's back in Kuwait by the day's missing. Well, the day's missing. It's been five days since the live stream. And it's been two days since the video. I think many reported for the PayPal. Um, well, that doesn't go to YouTube. That would go to PayPal. Then they would they would put her suspend her PayPal, and then she'd have to pay uh, the people back. It would put it in the negative. So, let's say the people donated um, her last live five days ago. That community post. When she was asking people, I don't know how many days went by. It might have been just one day. Uh, and then she put up the video for Kuwait. You think she went to Kuwait, huh? I pray she's getting an apartment too. I really do. I really, really, really do. And it, and it has a lot to do with, at a human being level, like that travel is going to end up putting her in the hospital uh, with fluid, congestive heart failure, stuff like that. She's not healthy enough. I would have rather seen her have an aha moment in Canada, work through the being alone, um, just concentrating on like seeing doctors, getting on Ozempic or getting weight loss surgery, um, getting rid of the diabetes. Like I, I would have liked to have seen that over somebody manipulating her again. I wish she'd stay in Canada. She's way funnier in Canada. Pete's hasn't been, Pete's hasn't been on either. That's why, all right, let's go to Pete's. Let's go to Pete's in my mind. And see, gosh darn it. Okay, let's go and see when the last time he went live. That's why I kind of feel like she's still in Canada. He, he went live a day ago, yesterday. He's still sitting in that room. Do you want to see thumbnails that never change? Here we go. Let me show you. Look at the thumbnails. Same chair. <laughs> Ah, now that's called chair rotting. He never leaves the place. Never. Never. Since he moved in. Never. Without Chantal, he 
is you know what I mean? He he's lost all purpose too. Yep, this is his life now, sitting in that room. He would love to cook in a kitchen. He, she don't care. Hopefully she does care. Hopefully this all turns around. Of course he's her soulmate. He's been her soulmate since they were teens. I wonder if he's shaped like that chair. <laughs> Probably like a potato chip, right? He's, he's, do you guys remember the potato chip chair? Well, that was in the 70s. That was the most awesome chair they ever made. Ours was black and it was shaped like this. I love that chair. She's getting what she deserves. Yeah, we always do. We all get back what we put out to the universe. She needs to surrender to inpatient treatment. I'd like to see that get help too. And you know, it, it is whatever path she's supposed to walk, she's got to walk it and learn it on her own. Um, if it destroys her channel, then it destroys her channel. What else are you going to do? You know, the audience is like, I'm not interested. There's a lot of people that like literally want to destroy her. That's got to be rough. You know what I mean? I mean, I know she's done some shitty stuff. I get it. I totally get it. But I don't kick dead horses, right? I don't, I don't like, I don't like her having animals, just like I wouldn't want her to have a kid, right? It'd be problematic. But I, I wish she would find God and I wish she would. I really wish she would, it would all make sense to her. But right now she lives in the dark world, you know what I mean? And, and she's fine with uh, people hating her. That sucks. Yes, um, you are correct, TCOB. Uh, I think Letitia finally got the help she needed, got off the internet, and got herself better. But we won't know until she pops back up on the YouTubes, right? That is saying a lot. If Letitia's in a better place than Foodie, right? But the more she keeps um, giving in to her addictions, whether it be men or food, um, she's, it's going to go downhill. Rock bottom. That's what they call it. Rock bottom. So Pete didn't say anything, did he? Let me see if this says anything. Yeah, I just moved in Monday. Oh. oh. You like it so Guess far? Guess not. Mm-hmm. That was just somebody trying to be funny and wasn't even funny. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm hoping she pops up in her new apartment. Um, but I don't know. Pete's went live yesterday and it's not looking promising, people. It's not looking promising. If Pete's is still in those people's house with that same coat hanging in the closet behind him, he hasn't packed or gone anywhere. Does the last still talk on his channel? I don't know. I don't follow him. He's popped in my chat a couple times, but he, I don't know. I, I don't know if he gives out what information. Like, I think he protects Salah. And he could be, you know, they might, you know, got this blood brother thing going. I wonder after this taking donations episode, if she has any members left. I don't know. I guess you'll find out if she goes live. She doesn't generally go live in um, Kuwait, unless she needs people to make her feel better. Generally, she just does videos, eating, yay. But there are so many archives that we can have fun for a long time until this straightens itself out. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I really appreciate it and I love being with you. And um, thank you for being members and subscribers. I've got new subscribers. We're almost to the 7,000. I can't wait for the celebration. Uh, I thought it was going to be for the eclipse, but it wasn't. So I don't know when, but we'll get there. Everybody relax. <laughs> and I'll see you guys maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Just depends. I got to do a hangout with you people soon. Uh, the members got the eclipse video for certain reasons, um, but I did allow you to hang out with me while I did it, and then it went over to members because it was like more personal than it was 
setting myself up. You know what I mean? People joined. People were around. So I protect, you know, other people <laughs> as much as I can. I mean, I can't help they come up to me when I'm doing a live stream. But anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Eat healthy, right? Take care of your, your vessel, your temple. Yeah, good idea. All right, guys. Chantal, when you coming back, girl? Come on now. All right, guys. Bye.